All right, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Xanthus Gaming. Uh, we're continuing our Seven Days to Die, Thirty Minute Nights, Horde Every Night playthrough. We got fairly wrecked the last time. Um, I went through and off camera added some walls on the outside of the blade trap and reinforced with all the materials we have. But unfortunately, we've kind of run out of materials. So we're at the point now where I'm going to need to spend a couple days doing nothing but mining, uh, which basically means that it's going to be kind of a lot of off-camera work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine as much as I can, get materials like set up as much as possible, and then I'll do any more additions onto the base and repairs to the base on camera so you guys can see that process before the horde comes. And then we'll do the horde. So this will be a bit of a building episode. I'll be doing a lot of mining. We might do two horde nights. We might have two episodes of mine slash horde, mine slash horde. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. I'm not entirely sure yet. I don't really love the fact that we're in the middle of a lead node here because it means we get a lot less rock. And we really just need as much rock as we can get right now. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into cobblestone for a little bit. Um, just so we can get get the wall completed. Obviously we're on to cement, so it'd be better to just turn this into cement at this point. Um, but with having a horde every single night, we don't really have the luxury of not getting as much up as we can as quick as we can, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'll see you guys at about 2200 hours uh, for the building portion of this section of the video. See you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty. Uh, so, we're crafting up some sand, we have some cement mix going, we're getting some more going there, we're currently crafting up cobblestone. Might have cut this a little bit too close time-wise, but, uh, we'll see, I guess. We'll see. Are these active? I think they are. Um, I'd like to get frames in here. Oh shoot, I forgot to grab the frames. I was crafting up rebar frames in one of my forges as well. Um, try to get that finished, if at all possible. There we go. That way, they can't just run over to us, hopefully. Theoretically. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so... Uh, there, 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 and there. Upgrade that stuff. Get solid reinforced concrete. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of cobblestone on some of this. Um, I don't know that we have time before this horde day to get it all up, but hopefully, let's make what we can here. We might actually be able to do all rebar on this side. And then just start with the cobblestone on the other side for the next horde day. Um, preparations. Oops. And this side's like the, the super important side to get done, really. We don't want we don't want vulnerability here. I don't know that we have enough concrete mix is the problem. Um, I have a feeling we get run out real quick here, yeah. We have 11 more blocks. All right, but we're out of time. So that's that. They should still be trying to come in through here, um, I believe. So that's good, at least. I don't know what happened to my turret, but we're just gonna we're just gonna stabby things. For this particular one, we're not gonna worry about it. I think just having that going will be enough. Although I do believe that we're gonna. We're gonna run out of steel to repair that pretty quick here. We do have the ability to make steel now, so that's beneficial to us. Um, I don't know how much I have built up. 100? Not bad. So I think we'll be okay at this point. Unless we get some nasty things like cops coming in through here. I actually should probably use this time to just uh, keep building, honestly. As long as the trap there is, is taking care of them, I should just use this time to upgrade things. Just kidding. All out of that. Uh, but what we could do is we could just start placing that stuff with flagstone. Let's 
and then just upgrade into to cobble. We'll upgrade to cement later when we have a chance. Alright, so this is going a lot better. Great. Okay. Looking good. Five skill points to spend. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had that many unspent skill points. I definitely want to do that. Nothing dropping in from up above, so I think we fixed our issues with things getting on top now. Yeah, actually, we should be relatively set up at this point if that's the case. But they are running straight around like we want them to. One guy's getting a funny idea there. The rest of them are doing the right thing, though. Oh, hello. Hey, pupper. Nice, uh, nice, nice ups you got there. I had one kind of wedged down there. So next we're going to take out those sides and put blade traps over there as well. Um, that way it's just like double sets of blade traps. Put one on the ceiling. We're going to make this like really secure. I had a bit of a rough start just because of 30 minute days, but it appears to be going better now. I hear vultures up above, but that's, that's going to happen. We don't have any vulture defense at the moment, so not much I can do about that. I have a crawler who got stuck over there, it looks like. He's going to be an issue. So that's, uh, that's quite unfortunate. I have no way to kill him. Do have Molotovs? Can I make Molotovs? No. The guys just get beat until he breaks through, and then we're gonna have an issue. Do I have any iron darts? Yeah, we need to get that clear down and get play traps on that side too. I can't I can't actually hit him, but like Collision detection is off on the quarter blocks. I guess that's the reason we use uh, poles instead of quarter blocks, right? All right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a pole in here. I wouldn't normally do this, but uh, for this particular situation, it's what I'm gonna need to do so that when he breaks through there, um, actually I'm gonna just help him. These have to be taken out anyway, so we might as well just take them out now, right? We'll actually just help him on that. Give him a path in. And then we're gonna... Oops. Okay, hold on. There he is. This is the guy causing the chaos. Alright. And then we need to put... Blocks there. Um, let's do like a full block here, or... Actually, we could just do another pole, that's fine. Alright, cool. And then, right now, I don't want them to get through there. Um, so I will put a full block there. Just for the time being. Ah, you know what, we're gonna replace it. We're gonna replace it anyway. Okay, it looks like that's actually the extent of this horde. Um, so I'm going to use the remainder of this horde time to build up this wall real quick with you guys. And then I'll go back to mining so we have resources. Shiitake mushrooms. Did not mean to place that there. We need to remember to break that or it will mess up the path in later. Right, just so long as we have a solid wall here. That makes me a lot... Makes me feel a lot safer. Um, and then we're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. And we'll just have to upgrade it to concrete as we can upgrade to concrete. I mean, there's not a lot of other choice. It's 
Sorry. The outside isn't as big of a deal. It just has to be a solid wall. Um, so that they can't see through it to spit, spit acid at us. Uh, the interior wall where the blade trap is, that's the one that has to be reinforced up to, uh, like, reinforced concrete or steel later on. That's, that's the big one. Um, that'll be this wall that goes right here, I believe. Yeah. I just realized I trapped myself in here, didn't I? Hmm. It's okay. Um, because, oops. I'll just quickly electrocute myself, no big deal. Um, I said that's okay because I actually need to break this out anyway. Um, because we want to have access to both these sides. So I'll just go right here, because that's where I went on the other side, so might as well. Let's keep it equal. I actually don't even think I did that. I believe the zombies did that on this side for us, but, you know, it's fine. It works either way. We got a drop loot container with some beef rations. Heck yeah. Keep us fed. Alright. And that officially ends that horde day. Alright. So we're a lot better off now than we were previously. We're slowly improving our situation here. Let's quickly repair this up to full life so it's ready for the next one. Otherwise I'll forget. Uh, we should probably look at what it would take to make another play trap. I do believe we actually need more engines. Um, yeah, no, actually, I know we need more engines before we can put in more blade traps. So I'll have to go on a wrenching spree. But I think more important right now is getting as much of this base upgrade to concrete as I can. But we're at about 12 minutes on this video. I'm going to go, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go live the mole life and dig some more. We'll cut back a little bit sooner this time. We'll cut back at like... 17 or 1800 or something like that so you guys can see more of the building time and then we'll do one more horde oh uh, i'm also gonna get all the cement from the other forges um rolling through and probably get some more steel going as well this doesn't have anything uh we got that are we out of stone did i use all of it Mm, oh, I need the cement mix. Oh yeah, I'll just have to wait for it to craft up in the forge, but we'll get a little bit more rolling for now. I'll do more as I dig, so. Alright, see you guys for the build part. Alrighty. Got quite a bit more rolling out here. We got a ton of stone farmed up. More mix is crafting. More... Sand is crafty as well. We'll come back to that in a second. We're going to do a little bit of base remodeling out here. Uh, cut back a little bit quicker than I was anticipating before, just because I want to take a little bit of extra time to start preparing to transition our base a little bit. I'd like to get blade traps on both sides. I suppose before we can really do that, we're going to need more steel to repair with but i think we have enough to craft at least one more yeah it's just gonna be mechanical parts oil the oil might be the only issue um before i can actually break any of that i have to be sure that i can uh i can sustain my repairs but oh uh, yeah oil is the issue so we need to take a wrench out and go wrench some cars Okay. We do have the bike, so we can make pretty good time. Yeah, I don't see any oil anywhere. Okay. Um, I think we're going to do that. Because we're going to need the iron anyway from the cars, and we're going to need the engines anyway from the cars. Uh, I think our base is strong enough to survive the next horde night. And we're going to just kind of be preemptive here and try to go find some vehicles. Uh, to take apart. So we're going to head towards town, see if there's anything up there, and then I'll ride back when it comes close to Horde time. Looks like there's actually some vehicles right in front of the fire department here. 
So we might as well take those apart. Maybe we'll get lucky. Get a uh, an engine. Hopefully get some oil as well. I mean, oil is really the thing we need the most because we want to make another blade trap. But I suppose in order to actually make the blade trap work, we're going to need another engine. Uh, because otherwise, we're just going to hit our power limit on the generators. We need at least two. Uh, got a little bit of oil there. Not as much as I'd hoped, though. We need 10 oil altogether. We could actually stop in with the trader real quick and see if he has any for sale as long as we're right here. It might be worth checking out. Hey, there's an engine. Nice. Not a lot of oil, though. Stamina. Ugh. Drink a little water to replenish the stamina. A little bit of oil there. Nice. Nice. A little bit more. Uh, so we're up to 5 out of 10 that we need. Could be better. Could be worse. Didn't mean to step on the barbed wire. <laughs> Uh, let's check real quick. Sugar butts. Nice. Always check for sugar butts. Meds, drugs, food. I have 138 is all. She doesn't have oil there. She doesn't have oil there. That's a bummer. Uh, quickly skimming and scanning, see if there's anything good. We got another robotic sludge trick. Uh, we are going to want two eventually anyway. Uh, so might be worth buying if we can get together the funds for it. Advanced Bellow Schematic. That could be worth it as well. A beaker. Gonna need that for, uh, for crafting a chem station, but I think she has a chem station that's usable within her, her area, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, when does she restock? Day 22. Alright, good. Uh, so I can come back here with the stuff that's in my base and sell it to her and buy probably the junk turret. Uh, just so I can have it, have a second one. Because we're going to want to have two of them out eventually. And uh, worst case, when we can craft a better one, we scrap that one for parts and use it to craft a better one. Uh, didn't quite get enough oil to do what we need to do. But that's life sometimes. You know the junkyard, actually. This might be where we get our oil from. Hold on a second. This isn't even a junkyard. It actually says oil. So I'm going to guess there's going to be like oil barrels and stuff. This might be a mistake because if we're riding our bike when the, when the horde starts, we're going to be just swarmed with vultures. Um, but I'm kind of curious if we can find just a quick stockpile of oil here. Give me something. So we're going to need to go inside and search the cans. See, what I think is going to happen is it's just going to be gas cans, and then I'm going to be sad. Yeah, it's just going to be gasoline, isn't it? I mean, gasoline isn't bad. It's just not what I need at this particular moment in time. This is probably a waste of time. I'm gonna get myself cornered here. Oh yeah. Oh, we're playing with fire, boys. And girls. I was just hoping for a quick hit of oil from one of those bags, just like getting four or five oil, but it was not to be the case. All right. We can come back here later and check on the inside. There should be gas cans, uh, which I guess probably has a chance to give us oil. Um, but we don't have time right now. The horde's about to start, so we better get back. I did find a book there. I'm not quite sure what it was, um, but we'll find out. Find out in just a minute here. I should just find out now and I'll cut back to base. Uh, targets with full health take 20% more damage. 
Heck yeah. It's fantastic. All right, see you guys back at the base. All right, back at the base. I'm going to go and get things scrapping in the workbench. Uh, probably save the sugar butts and put it in here so we can take it with us when we sell all this stuff. Come daybreak. The gasoline we should probably save. Oil, headlights, mechanical parts, engine. You know, I probably put the engine in now. Um, because I think we're already overtaxed from where we should be. So it doesn't hurt to throw that in. There we go. That's better. Yeah, because if I remember right, I had to disconnect some stuff to make things actually work last time. So that solves that dilemma, which I'm quite happy about. Um, never fixed that hole, did I? Shoot. Fix it quick! It's a waste of reinforced concrete, but it's fine. Alright. Here we go. You guys may have noticed I have a little red mark on my head that I didn't have at the beginning of the episode. Taco Bell was delivered while we were mining, and I hopped up from my chair and ran to go get it and smacked my head on a, uh, like a an overhang, basically, in our house. Yep. So that happened. It looks like we're uh, able to kill the hordes a lot more reliably now. Once we convert that over into more blade traps, it'll be even better. We do have the issue of once we get some crawlers in here, it causes a bit of an issue. Because um, we still have that quarter block there. We need to convert that over into holes. Because crawlers like that cause nothing but issues for us now. I can't actually hit him. I can't actually shoot him. So he's just gonna break stuff until he breaks stuff, basically. I might actually break the quarter block out. Just, uh be able to replace it with the pole. I believe there is no pole shape available for those. Yeah, that's why I did that. Uh, so we can start with flagstone or we can start with wet concrete. Since we have the flagstone on us, let's just start with flagstone. We're going to start breaking this. I'm sure the zombies will be obliged to help us as well. Compare that. Cool. That's some nice uh, loot bags dropping for us. Hey, there's some shotgun bullets and a shotgun sawed off shotgun as well. Nice. Doesn't sell for much, but that's okay. We can take the die out, scrap it, and get some paint. Because why not? Gonna repair up our turret a little bit. It's going well. Yeah, like I said, we want to replace this with a pole. The quarter blocks are not working for us. It makes it too hard when someone loses their legs like this. It makes it too hard to actually kill them. That's okay that they're going there, because we're going to need to take that stuff out again anyway eventually. So we can just help kill them with our spear in the meantime. That block there was kind of a temporary thing for an effort for like an, a horde knight or two is all. It's gonna need to be replaced and taken out anyway. I mean honestly I'm tempted to just let them do some of the work here for me and just like swing at it. I'll just work on repairing up the blade trap and they can help break out those blocks for me. Go ahead and take care of the vultures.
So surprisingly, you don't really even need a vulture defense. You just have to have a hatch, single space open, break it, or open it up, walk up and stab. It seems to work pretty well. Cool. Alright, cool. Uh, that Horde Knight looks like it's pretty much done. Right on. I hear something somewhere. Not sure what is where, but someone's beating on something. Let's see where that's coming from. Someone's stuck somewhere they shouldn't be. Is what it certainly sounds like. They just killed themselves in the blade trap, so they figured out the path eventually. Okay. Cool. Well, that does that, I suppose. Sorry, I ran a little bit low on food. That'll be it for this episode, though. Uh, next episode, we'll make a run over to Trader, and we will uh, see if we can buy the junk turret. We'll also try to find some more cars to wrench apart so we can get some more oil. So we can uh, finish up our base design here and get more blade traps in there. Wait, do I hear more zombies? Shoot. I turned that off prematurely. I thought we were done. There's still one left. Alright, that's fine. Two left. Come on over, buddy. Oh, here's another. Super premature there. That's okay. Um, anyway, we'll uh, work on getting more oil so we can get more blade traps. We'll put blade traps on that side as well as on the roof over there. We'll just get fully decked out. Um, once the base is complete, I mean, we might just up the difficulty to like insane or something. Just see how it goes. Um, I don't know. Because at that point, the it's going to be like just easy mode. Might as well try making it a little bit harder, you know? Um, probably have to figure out a way to get some more food as well, because we're starting to run kind of low here. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will, excuse me, see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.